Oh my god. What the fuck did I do? Oops. I didn't mean to cuss. Sorry, people. We'll edit that out. Here we go. Whoa, what the f What the f Why is there a tree here? That is weird. I wonder why that's the case. Huh. Okay, so these two match with that, so that means I have to pay attention to these two. So, that being the case, that's in the correct spot. And then it should reciprocate there, so then that means this one. The plugs need to be placed in the right sockets before right you can flip the switch and activate the lift. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I guess I had to turn my body. Use that diagram to help you find the right position. What do you do know? I don't know when to shout quick this, but you're a lot smarter than you look. Why, thank you.
Straighten myself. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh, there it is. What the fuck? Bad throw. <laughs> Something, lady. Yes, I can get past the door. I'm Stop. 
This is the inner? No? Ah, it is. Ha! Imagine that! This one's still for later. Oops, I've forgotten. Well, if that's the case...
Hold on. Put this bad boy on pause for a second. Hold on, I'm sending you the link. Oh, what the fuck? Action 31. There it is. Fraction 31. Doc walk with bubbles poppy. Now that she got the link, back to solving puzzles. Oops. <laughs> How about now? Ah. I can't bend down. Back problems.
home world many, many overnights ago. We began our journey. It's been a journey with so much hope. Our family said we were mad, but we wanted to push ourselves. Prove ourselves. Gain more followers. But there was a malfunction in our beauty. There was a malfunction in our vanity. There was a malfunction in our life support systems. Meanwhile, the secondary fault in the SS Lucia Miner's navigation systems condemned our ship to float in a void of no one as for all eternity. But now you have found us. Now you can help us. We know you seek the time crystal. If you repair the ship systems and set us free, we will help you. We will take care of you. Oh. I would have my back against the door. You did it! You've restored all systems! I'm getting to like you! And at last, we meet properly, face to face. I'm Emma. Sorry, we've already done that. Just so pleased you're here to rescue me. I've been locked up for ages. I'm over here. Over here! You're looking right at me! It's me! Emma! Help me! Help me! And I'm back in the room. The minute you entered the flight deck, the ship's systems reverted to normal. Like taking your phone off airplane mode, meaning I can contact you through local tech. But Emma, I am sorry. I'm so sorry. You were originally the Lucia Miner's emergency life support system, designed to protect the ship's crew. When the Slicers took over the craft and killed them, you couldn't accept that loss. You adopted the characteristics of a crew member, probably your favorite. And over the years, you've come to fully believe in the construct you created. But Emma, I recognize you as an emergent new life form and promise to transfer you to a more appropriate system. In other words, I will get you out of there. Oh, I failed to protect the original crew of this ship, but I will not lose you or your friend. My friend. Here's what I've learned from the ship's computers. The Slicers feed on attention, and without it, they devolve into Tasmans, mute, feral hunters banished from the Slicer community. They killed most of the ship's original crew. But now power's been restored. They've set a course to power bomb a sun. The ship's drive unit will cause a supernova, and dozens of planets will be obliterated. The Slicers plan on getting away using escape capsules. Of course. The Slicers know the Shadow Proclamation will hold them accountable, but they'll reckon being put on trial for genocide will give them all the attention they crave. Emma, I need you to change the ship's flight plan and unlock the time crystal we came here for. Can you help? Oh, oh yeah. The Slicers have locked me out of the system. Oh, but there's a manual override. Right then, my human friend. You're up. We need to put Emma in the driving seat. So you've got to override those three control terminals. Charge them with the Sonic. Brilliant! I can access the time crystal and eject it from you. 
Scared me there for a second. Oof. Well done, you. You've got us the first time, Crystal. We just need two more, then I can escape and save the universe from the reality virus. Sounds easy when you say quickly, doesn't it? You have a big you, know, you managed to get something else very important. But I love it. When you zap the controls, you downloaded Emma into the Sonic screwdriver. I offered the Slicers the same chance of escape, but they chose to go out in a blaze of... Well, you can't really call it glory. Okay, we've got a second time, Crystal, to get our mitts on. When you were on Lucia Minor, Medipods implanted a nanotranslator into your brain. You won't have felt a thing, and they're harmless. The TARDIS is going to transmit Emma's thoughts into the translator, so you'll be able to hear her wherever you are. All the knowledge she extracted from the ship's databanks is now in her memory. I reckon you and Emma are going to make a great team. At least I hope so. If you don't, it's end of the world time, so no pressure then. I know this probably feels weird, me talking to you like this via the nano translator in your brain. I can talk to you, offer advice, process readings and data and stuff like that, but I can't help you in any physical sense. Souls. Activate the TARDIS when you're ready. Reach our next destination for a while. Let's have a nosy around. I think we're about ready. And this thing is unreal. Did you know that Loch Ness contains more water than every lake in England and Wales put together? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But I bet you didn't know. The creature that lives in it, the Loch Ness Monster, is actually a reptilian cyborg from another planet, Natch. Press that button. Yeah, I know it, I know it. I think I got everything set up to what I wanted. Oh. I forgot about those. There are so many buttons on this thing. 
Go on, try, try pressing, pressing him. him. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh. Now we can go. Magnus Greel, which makes my spidey senses start to tingle big time. Let's take a closer look where we are. I can't guide you this time, I've got too much to do back here, but Emma will help you. Like I said, the TARDIS is going to patch her directly through to you. She should be able to track the time crystal, so get out there, find it, bring it back, and don't hang about. Evil and me go way back, and I can't put my finger on it, but somewhere out there, evil is waiting. Get a load of this. Holy shit. You know what? I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Beautiful. Hello. I was just was thinking about you when I when I seen this green vase. I know it. Your boy. Oh! You didn't see that. look deserted but I can sense something <laughs> I 
I can't I know. The readings I'm getting. Have a look around. Let's see what we can find out. So how are you doing? Bored at work, huh? <laughs> oh, did you get yourself something to eat? Speaking of me being the doctor. By the window. How do you reckon you get it to play? Ooh. Made an appointment, huh? <gasps> oh, you got pizza. What kind of toppings did you get? The perfect fit. Wind it up and let's see if it still works. Good evening, my friend. Allow me to introduce Ooh, myself. I'm sorry, girly. I am Sir Manfred Grail. Collector of objet d'art and singular ephemera. I know who you mm. are. And your companion, Bacon. Emma. Does that surprise you? Uh. It shouldn't. You have invaded my home before. Many times. I'm aware you seek the cabinet of Magnus Grill and the crystal within. Ooh, that looks You've creepy. You've done well to get this far, mon camarade de guerre. You are brave and resourceful. And so I'll give you one piece of crucial information and a warning. Although why I should is beyond me, as I cannot hope to profit from it. Mm. But this is vital. Yes, cheese is a very if beautiful you thing. The cabin, you must... Oh shit. But this is vital. If you are to reach the cabin, you must. Okay, those will... No, 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 no! That will lift. Learn its mysteries, and it will take you to the crypts in my home. Here you will find the cabinet and the time crystal which it holds. Your prize. <laughs> but every prize must have its perils. <laughs> Ooh. Where would be the fun if it was as easy as simply finding the cabinet? No, no, no. That wouldn't do at all. It is protected. Ain't this pretty? That warning I come in the you. light. The cabinet is guarded by my angels. Although I suspect that since the changes, they may no longer be my angels. I fear they are coming. And will destroy me as they will surely destroy you too, my friend. My final warning. Oh, yeah? Whatever you do, don't... No. No. No! Manfred dead now. Manfred big fat boy. But Angel's still hungry. Angel's still hungry. Angel's feast on you. Angel's <laughs> feast on you. Angel's eat you. We're coming to get you. Uh, not your vase. Oh, look how cool that looks. You know what the scary thing is? Yeah, that thing wasn't moving. The voices aren't coming from the phonograph anymore. Do me a favor. Give that crank on the phonograph another spin. And let's see what this room will look like when we've left. You had to send me a picture of that. Hop to it.
I wonder if there might be something helpful which isn't here. Yet. I know it. I think I remember. Hmm. Wrong one. There must be another book to burn before this one. Ah, the beginning. Ooh, you know what? I might just do that, young lady. Hmm. Wrong one. There must be another book to burn before this one. What get that? Oh, you. Oh, yes, it starts off with the leaf first. Ooh, you that good? Or better yet, or clumsy? Some of these fancy books match Ooh. the bugs in the painting above the fireplace. Oh, I suck at throwing, don't I? <laughs> Look at that flame. I think we're on the right track. Mmm. Yes, you must. You must show me this. Ooh, look at this skull. Now, I could see myself having a tattoo of it looking like that. It's pretty cool. When looking. I was rummaging through the TARDIS database, I read about an ancient collection of enchanted books that could only be activated by fire. You don't suppose these books could be from that collection, do you? Okay, and the next one. Ooh, you hate birds, huh? <laughs> Oof. Good of the universe. Oh, not expect that. Let's follow it. Ah, I know it. I'm bad. I'm very bad. Oh, hey. Where are you going? Okay. Something about this painting. Free me. Use the flames. Okay. What a creepy painting. Whoa, hey, whoa. Whoa. The what the painting just moved. What the You know what? I'm curious. Oh! Oh! Shit. Oh, won't let me out. Uh oh. Almost feel like I'm trapped in a room with you, but you're in my head. <laughs> or at least before my eyes, in my head. <laughs> and I can't run! I can't get out of here either. Ooh, and that's Gallifreyan. Wait a minute. What if I seen something like that? Ooh! I wonder. No? No? Oh! <gasps> the only thing weird in the room. this happen uh, 
Child, I'm running out of ideas. Ah! There it is. Ooh. Ooh. Ran into a wall. Bring me home. Into the light. That door. Someone. Hey, you see that? Opened it. Poppy. <laughs> oh sh! Oh my God! Come on, cuh. I know it. Somebody's fighting with me with the door. <clears throat> I know it. I mean, look at the old lady. She looks weird as shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, thank you, uh, angel lady. You found it. Well played, Sherlock. You have in your hand a trionic lattice, also known as a time key. Put it you saw that hand. too, right? The way how I'd like it. Handy later on. Whoa. We're getting in that. How about you leave me in the TARDIS for this one? No? Hey, fancy. This looks very fancy. I like it. My curiosity is killing me. The readings I'm getting are off the chart. Oh, the crypt is absolutely infested with angels. So just get to the cabinet. Open it using the time key. Grab the time crystal and get the hell out of there. And whatever you do, don't blink. Don't even blink. Fuck, fuck, shit, fuck, fuck. It's the time crystal. Grab it before the angels decide you're a threat. You did it. And I'm using the power of the second crystal to get through to the doctor. See if she can get the TARDIS to materialize inside the building <laughs> so we can vamoose before the angels figure out a way to follow us. Uh oh. Looks like the generator is out. Suppose we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Look, we can still get out of this place. Let's make a start by winding the crank on that generator unit. The one on the wall up ahead. Good. Now we just have to wait for the lift to reactivate. <laughs> Make your way now. 
nice and steady. Turned to win and smash got me. <clears throat> oh my god. The moment I looked away. <laughs> oh. You know what? Thank god you're not that good, girly. Yeah, I know it. Got me good too. <laughs> Just. If you ever do decide to try to air me out, uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't stalk your prey like that, you know? It's kind of scary. Uh-oh. Looks like the generator is out. Oh, Suppose we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Look, we can still get out of this place. Let's make a start by winding the crank on that generator unit. The one on the wall up ahead. You're nearly there. Just hang on and the lift is <laughs> open. <gasps> Fuck. If I stand right here. Where'd he go? Okay. Holy fuck! Huh? <laughs> You're safe, but you've got the time crystal. Everything is going to be fine. I think. You think? Well, that didn't last long, did it? According to the TARDIS database, Weeping angels have a unique self-defense mechanism. Long story short, keep them in sight and we should be okay. to wait for the lift to reinitiate before we can pull the lever. Oh! Tread. Okay. Let's get back in. Uh, you tried to switch up on me, little bitch. I can't reach the freaking lever. Oh my god, come on! Huh. 
Whew. You still there, Alex? Oof. Hang on. Get just a moment longer and the lift will open. Oh, thank you for your support, girly. But man, I am legitimately scared. Like, I'm trying to look at the corner through uh, the corner of my eyes, child. Oh, shit. Which side did he go to? Ah. The lift is ready. Make your way now. Nice and steady. to the TARDIS. I can feel it. Shit, you should have seen that other game that I was playing. Oh my god. You would have seen, you would have heard me scream like, oh my, mmm, mmm. <laughs> oh, oh. Is on, but the lift doors need a moment to open. You've got this. Oh, I see you. I see you. Come on, come on. So we'd have to face these angels. You made it! Great! Now, let's get back to the TARDIS. Oh yeah, I'm getting there. Ooh, look at that scenery. Would you just look at it? Oof. You know what? You want to see a game that's really scary, girly? be back things got pretty mm. hectic back there we make quite so a i take time. it you don't like horror do you what took you so long <laughs> while you've been sightseeing and taking it easy i've been doing the donkey work and finding out what's behind the reality virus first things first though i can detect a force is trying to fix us in a tractor beam i'm not having that i'm going to remote pirate the tardis away from earth magnetic and you might want to find something to hang on to Okay, pull the activation lever and let's go. Let me see. 
Metabilis 3, but nowhere near as good as Metabilis 1 or 2. They were great. Oh. I told you I've been tracking down what was behind the reality virus. Well, now I know, and it's not good news. But if you're risking your life to help me, I think you deserve to know the truth. Emma, maybe you can generate some images to go along with what I'm telling you. Right then. Billions of millennia ago, when the universe was fragile and new, planets formed and stars began to burn. And at some point, no one really knows when, the very first sentient life form in all of creation was born. Or maybe I should say, she began to exist. The universe's See. first creature with conscious awareness was, by definition, all alone in the world. She spawned more of her own species, nurtured them. She was the very first mother. The cosmos expanded. Planets and stars became vast galaxies, and life spread throughout countless systems, throughout centuries. And that first sentient being, let's call her the first. Well, she slept for billions of years. Whoa. That's the prototype for all consciousness. The first had design faults, teething problems, the most serious of which was very obvious. She didn't know how to die. When she was revived, she looked on in absolute horror at what her children had turned into. Their warfare and cruelty and brutality all appalled her. She felt duty-bound to right these wrongs. She was compelled to destroy her creations. To eradicate Oof. all sentient life, to return the universe to Oof. how it had been when she gazed across the first horizons. To atone. The first has evolved into a super intelligent but very damaged figure. She's experienced many forms over the years, but now, I believe, she's humanoid. She sees herself as simply escalating a process that species right across the universe are already hell-bent upon. She's nurturing conflict and chaos and destruction so she can end their plight and begin anew. She's not a god, and she's not evil. She wants redemption. She wants another chance. She wants children who love her and each other. And we, well, we have to stop her. So that's who's behind the reality virus. That's who we're up against. That's who we're up against. We're close, though. Get hold of the final time crystal, and the TARDIS can get all three of them to me, so I can get back to where I should be, and, you know, you save the universe. Big head. That's what I do best. I just want to warn you, though. The TARDIS is sensed the first is near. The danger's never been greater. Be careful! Mm. You would air me out with that big rock right there? No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Oof. You know, me and Anthony were just was talking about you early today. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. You're diabolical. You know that? You're completely diabolical. Oh, hey. Whoa! Look at this place. Hey, I don't want to be that guy, but I've already got some bad news. The sand that blow across the surface of this planet is somehow blocking my Zyton readings. <laughs> Talking that about, gonna have to find the last he was crystal, like, the old school. That security check, she's gonna air you out something decent. And I'm like, what? You are welcome, visitors. Enjoy the serenity. He, he was like, she won't even use lube, dude. Like, <laughs> she might not even spit on it. Like, ugh, ugh. that's horrible. All right, so what's supposed to happen here? 
I've had a quick squeeze through the local archives, and this place is known as the Temple of the First. That can't be a coincidence. Look, I'm not jumping for joy at the prospect of going in there. But it is the most likely place to find the final crystal. We've got to check it out. Oh! Why didn't I think of this? That's it. Keep doing that. I think it's working. Good old son. Hmm. It's the time crystal. Ah, I didn't think it'd be that easy. Mm. No. Right. I may have spoken too soon. Hey, at least it can't get any worse. Hmm, dialects. That's their technology. Dumb. <laughs> he is dumb. We need to distract it somehow. Yeah, I know it, lady. Scanning, scanning. Uh, threw that one a little too hard. The object scanning, scanning. <sighs> Try distracting the Dalek by throwing some of that debris across. Recommencing the patrol. Scanning for the intruder. Shh! Don't be too loud. Daleks can detect oh. the slightest sound, and we really need to get past this one and through that door. That was a close one. Okay, I've tapped into the TARDIS database, and you know I said things couldn't get any worse? Yeah, well, I was wrong. Remember that time glitch? Well, now we're in a future where the Daleks invaded the planet. They're trying to work out how to harness the power of the time crystals. The more immediate problem, I'm picking up signals from a bunch of Daleks. Ah, another one. Let's do this same as before, okay? Slow and stealthy. Attention all combat units patrolling the security sensors have locked onto unidentified object. Possible diversion detected. I will investigate and commencing analysis of object. Evaluate! Investigation successful! How many of these things are there? The power source must be guarded! Ah! We need 
need to get that door open. The power source must be guarded! That Dalek is blocking our way. You need Dalek to get it to me. Command reports there are intruders in the temple. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed! As long as we're not directly in its line of sight, it won't be able to see us. We could use that massive pillar for cover. The object has been scanned, assessed, and is understood. Shh! Dalek Command reports there are intruders in the temple. Any unauthorized presence will be destroyed! Unsanctioned activity in temple! Investigate! Investigate! <laughs> Demi. Wow. That was intense. Can you imagine what it's like to be the doctor and do this kind of stuff all the time? For me personally, I'll take the TARDIS database over killer aliens oh. any day. That was pretty well hidden. Oof. Not doing too bad for someone who's pretty tipsy. <laughs> hmm. I don't think these ones are occupied, so to speak. You're not thinking what I'm thinking, are you? Yes. Take one. We need to reach that time crystal. Mm. But it looks like this is a dead end. <sighs> Not necessarily. Wait a minute, what's so special about this one? Ha! Great minds really do think alike. Okay, I'm gonna control the movement because I'm pretty sure I'm a better driver than you. You take care of the shooty bits. And just so you don't freak, I've altered the power setting on the weaponry you'll be using. When you blast a Dalek, you're only taking out its casing. You're not actually killing the creature inside. Okay, let's go. How are there so many of them here? Oof. Oof. You know what? One of these days, if we hang out, I'll let you try the boxing game. How's that sound, Alex? Okay, let's do this. Fire! The intruder must be eliminated. Um, oh. Ooh, okay. I'll let you be Rocky since you're part Italian. Incurred! Damage incurred! 
moment, my casing has suffered catastrophic damage. I have failed. I have. We can destroy those Dalek energy blasts before they can. Dang it. This little pesky little dudes. I'm almost working up an appetite, child. Oof. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That make me some pancakes. Or I might just, oof, uh, ooh. I might just go down to Waffle House. Or as my other supervisor friend would have said, awful waffle. But she's out of her rabbit behind mine. Okay, let's do this.
Damn it. Come on! Come on! Jesus! You're back? Oh. There you go. Little turd. Any more turds behind me? I think not.
Come on, hurry up and fire! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I made it to the end! What the f- Mmm! <sighs> Little gag face. Oof. Not gonna make me rage quit. Oof. I didn't even realize it's only 12.51. Oh my god. Lost that and get us out of here. Sitting here checking Snapchat. Like I'm Don Juan. Come on, we're so close. Dig deep and let's do Come on, you little turd! I think I might have to, oh my god, this is just horrible, man, that's it, I'm gonna end it right there, fuck it, <coughs> mm, but I don't want to give up too easy, I'm gonna try one last time, and if it don't work, oh well. Come on, 
and shoot back. It's gone. Oh man, I was starting to feel at home in there. Ooh, the last one is always. Stone dials. You know what? <gasps> My sonic screwdriver. Where'd it go? See what's happening. What? What the? What's going on? The TARDIS has been destroyed. We're too late. She's wiped out reality. Okay, we're in the inner temple of the first, and here she is. Don't try anything rash. She's unbelievably powerful. Unbelievably powerful? You say it like it was a bad thing. Power in the right hands can be beautiful, and you don't have to worry about my omnipotence. Oh, she got that After peacock all, head. Uh... Mother knows best. I only wanted what was best for my children. Would you hold that against me? Could you hold that against any parent? The only difference is, I have the power to make my resolve become reality. I will give you a second chance. I will give all living creatures rebirth. And before that rebirth, I ask for only one thing, your death. Universal annihilation in exchange for a brighter tomorrow. Wow. Talk about tough love. I love you all. Good night. I'm gonna need your help more than ever now, because the universe is hanging by a thread. The reality virus has deleted the TARDIS interior and wiped out almost everything. But hey, I love a good almost. And right now, that almost says to me, you can still do this. You can fight it. You can come back. Because this time round, I found out very quickly that sometimes all it really needs is a leap of faith. Okay. Not in the land of the living, are you? The doctor filled me in. Turns out she didn't need the Zyton. But she did need you to visit all those places to collect the time crystals. Because she knew the first was watching her. And by extension, watching you. Those locations were the last things in the first's memory. And so they're virtually the last snatches of reality to be destroyed. I've hidden three items, one in each of three environments. 
The doctor disguised the items, but all of them has something unique about their physical appearance. A clue that suggests they're bound up with the first in some way. I'll explain later, but when they're placed together, they'll form a device powerful enough to deal with the first. I hope. Because the universe is so fractured, to reach a location that still exists, you just have to visualize it. That's what you've got to do now. I can't help you, because the voice you're hearing now is a simple psychic projection while I keep the first busy. First, you must remember the office from the London Laundrette. Oh, yeah. Let your memories guide us to where we need to go now. I'm losing you. And your connection is drifting. Can you still hear me? The office. Oh yeah, this is the office. Great. And our neural connection is strengthening. Our optic connection is getting clearer. Start looking for the second piece. Ah, oh, I remember that. You got it. We need just one more piece. Which means one more memory. What? What do you think you're doing? Are you trying? Trying to interfere with my plans? Ignore. Just find the third object and let's get out of here. If my readings are correct, the object we're after is disguised as a framed picture. You did it! We've got the final piece of the device. I'm gonna pull you back to the temple so we can put the three pieces together. We're back! Oh! What happened? The objects, they're here, but what do we do now? You're too late. Don't you see that? I'm redeeming my children, giving you all a second chance. Why would you fight against that? Happy Mother's Day. I think we need some help. Doctor? What now? My love, my people, they reckoned the first might make it here someday. So they created a device powerful and ingenious enough to send her back to her beginning. It was too dangerous to leave lying about. So I split it into three and hid it. I knew the first would be watching me, so I needed you to make sure those locations were amongst the last to exist, and that you could get back to them. That was crucial. You had to know them really well. I've appealed to the first to let us continue to live our lives, offered her a truce. She refused. So now, now you have to send her back to the genesis of time using the device you've assembled. You've hardly any time left. I know what you've got to do. You've got to sonic the device. Remember my love for you. I only wanted what was best for my children. For you. Well, I don't want you to get too big in the boots, but guess what? I reckon you just saved the universe. Finally beat it. 
I finally beat it. Oof. I fear we have possibly reached the end. The first has been flung back to the beginning of time, but she's not dead. Without her, the virus ceased to exist and reality has snapped back into place. But because the first lives, she's effectively in a time loop. She will try time and time again to unleash the virus and wipe out all of sentient creation. Her threat will recur over and over. She will always return, which is why you must always be there to stop her. I'm taking you back to where it all started. The little laundry in London. I'm sorry I misled you. I had to. I let the first kidnap me, and I had to let her think I was done for. I knew she might intercept some messages, and knew she wouldn't be worried about me collecting Zyton. Why would she? She thought she was invincible. But all the time I was working with you. I only work with the best, and I knew you fitted the bill. I always know. And before you go, one more thing. Emma, I've downloaded her consciousness into a synthetic person. Someone you might recognize. Away from all this, she's living a happy uh -huh. life because of everything you did. And I see that so you're grateful. back. This We've made it to the end. The TARDIS has brought us home. Recognize this place? God. Take a look. Oh my God. So it's all the time we have to do it all over again to save the universe and steady. You'll feel disorientated for a second or two. That's because we've shorted out the time differential. But you'll be okay in a tick. Right. This is goodbye. For now. Just two more things. One, thank you. Really. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For everything. And two, you remember Emma told you she'd always be your friend. Well. Boom. Bullet. <clears throat> Done did it. Ooh, how can I skip this? How can I skip it? Ah. I guess I have to live through it. <laughs> so where'd you run off to, uh, Alex? You finally took a break? This time vortex does look pretty cool. I assume that you finished your, your your pizza and went and got something else. You know what? That is a good idea. 
I didn't think you would have heard that one. The pancakes. <laughs> I did not think that you would hear that one.